What's going on everybody? This is Jake from the Comic Collectors Guild here with another statue review. Today is the one-third scale Deathstroke by Prime One Studios. Uh, so excited to get this guy in. He was on pre-order for a long time and he was so worth the wait. I uh, can't wait to break this piece down with you. A uh, few specs on him. Uh, he is, the way I have him displayed right now, he is 30 inches tall. Uh, he has a swap out arm. Uh, that will hold a machine gun if you hold them like that the m4 uh, will make it 36 inches tall he is roughly 54 pounds and uh, this is one of the deepest bases i have ever seen uh, i have him displayed here on an ikea kallax got the little death stroke stuff and here is slade wilson so Let's dive into the base here. As I mentioned, very deep base. You can see actually part of it hangs off there and more of it hangs off there. So just beware of that when you're displaying him. But let's start with the base here. Very awesome Reaper base. I can't put into words the detail that is in this thing. It is massive. We got the little skulls there look at that face so the two arms are actually magnetically put in and then we got the reaper uh, the little uh, cleaver there so it clips in there and then it clips in again in the back but it's a broken sickle very cool effect we got some more skulls back there so even the little details in the areas where you can't really see, it's incredible what Prime 1 does. You got like the claws there on the, the Reaper when he's holding a sickle. And just look at the worn effect. I mean, it looks like cracks and dirt all over this guy. It's so sick. Again, the other claw. And then here's the sickle. Got a cool skull right there on the sickle. And I like that it's broken. I think it adds a lot of character and uh, just adds the weathered look to it. But that is the base. Let's move on to this guy. So Deathstroke, one of the big bads in the Batman universe. He goes head to head with Batman as well as the Titans. Seen him go head to head with Robin, aka Night and Nightwing, in the new Titans show on DC Universe. Nice blend of blues, some orange, little red, and then the silver. Get in here. Here is the katana. I decided to go with the katana over the M4 here, just because. When I think of Deathstroke, I think of him more with swords. But he does use guns, so. One with the pistol route here. But you can always swap it. This thing has so many swap outs. You could do two katanas. You could do a katana and M4. You could do the katana and the pistol. It's really whatever. Whatever is up your alley. And then these shoulder pieces here also magnetically put in there's two orange two silver so it gives you the choice on that let's get into the body here which crazy one thing that really surprised me is this here looks like fabric it's not it's sculpted all of it incredible prime one is really i mean they've done amazing work in the past but this one might be the best they've done Got the weathered armor, just the bullets, and then look at this face sculpt. So this is an exclusive head. It actually comes with three different heads. Has the traditional comic head, then it has a more modern where it looks a little more like this on uh, the entire thing. A um, little more detail, and then this exclusive, which is totally new to the character. But I love it. And I said too, I mean, if you look at it from this, wouldn't that be a cool face sculpt for Black Mask if they ever did a statue of him? Just my opinion. 
we have another pistol there that clips in so another piece and then we got on the back two more katanas and that clips into his back and then these guys here it actually comes with three different sets of them so we have three heads three of these guys two shoulder pieces to pick from a magnetic thing in his back a pistol magnet two magnets there and two clips in the back it's about as customized as you could possibly get I couldn't be happy with this statue. He's still available on Sideshow as well as Prime Woman's website. Couldn't recommend it enough. There's one side. There's him from the other. What I really like about Deathstroke is, you know, especially in the Batman world, we have so many different kind of villains. But as far as hand-to-hand -hand combat, there are very few who can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with, like, Batman and Robin, but... Deathstroke is definitely up to that challenge. Just doesn't get any better than that. Again, guys, the one-third scale Deathstroke by Prime One Studios. This is aces in my book. One of the best statues I've ever seen. Definitely go check them out. And if you want to be part of any of our more collection and see any other reviews, check out our website, www.comiccollectorsguild.com. We got all kinds of statue reviews, Funko Pops, action figures. If you have any questions, leave any comment below. Until then, stay collecting, guys.